Congratulations, Kanan. This brings our total loss count to 127. I'd say that's a new record. <sighs> I remember the first time as if it was yesterday. My son was born the next day. How old is he now? He starts junior high next month. I see. It's, it's gotta be that shadow. I mean, think about it. Its influence severs your data link every time. If we only knew what it was, then we could access the data he gave you. Kanan, it's a summons from Representative Helmer. Could you go ahead and report today's results while you're there? I'm not your secretary, you know. But today is my son's birthday. I see. That's unfortunate, but I suppose it can't be helped. I understand that it's data concerning the Milshan conflict. Is it really that important? Yes, it is. The truth behind the conflict lies buried within it. Hmm. The one who entrusted that data to you was a subordinate under my command. I had sent him in on an independent investigation. Yes, Jin Uzuki. Whatever happened to him? I thought you were a model with suppressed emotions. Don't tell me you're concerned about him. I'm just curious. He is the one who saddled me with this nuisance after all. <laughs> Don't worry about him. He's left the military. I hear he's doing fine. Now, I have another job I'd like you to undertake. Have a look at this. The 100 series Realian prototype Momo will be executing a dive into her subconscious domain at the Administration Bureau. I'd like to request your assistance. What's the timeline? I've been notified that our people have just now descended from orbit and landed at the spaceport. I'd be obliged if you could go and pick them up. Sounds to me like there's more to it than that. We've noticed a rise in recent activity from both the UTIC organization and the immigrant fleet. I think in times like these, it pays to take precaution. Understood. Your Holiness, I have news concerning the matter of the Y data. Chief Inquisitor Margulis wishes to convey the details to you directly. Very well. Your Eminence, it is an honor to be in your presence. Spare me your platitudes. I understand that the Realian in possession of the Y data has fallen into the hands of the Kukai Foundation. I trust you have an explanation for this? Yes, Holiness. It is true that the 100 series prototype that holds the Y data is currently in the custody of the Kukai Foundation. Or rather, the second Milshan government. However... I trust you understand the significance of the situation. 
According to the URTV Albedo, the Y data is secured by a form of high level protection. Only accessible at the UMN control center on 2nd Milsha. Hence, the current situation. Preparations for our next move are already underway. Margulis. I've heard that the recent offensive against 2nd Milsha was the result of Cardinal Heinlein's manipulation of the Federation's military's upper ranks. What do you know of this? I am afraid I possess no intimate details of that. I would presume that all of the Cardinal's decisions are made in the organization's best interest. Your words. I would imagine it is safe for me to trust them. I have sworn fealty to your holiness. I would never allow myself to be manipulated by ancient dogma. Hmm, very well. Our fleet is considering an invasion of the demilitarized zone in the near future. I sincerely hope that you will not disappoint me. I understand, your holiness. I vow to deliver you good news. Margulis. Holiness. I don't like that you are TV. It reminds me of someone... someone vulgar. Be sure you remember that. As you wish. <laughs> they get suspicious when they get old. <laughs> the weaker they are, the louder they bark. Pellegri, what's your status? Everything is proceeding smoothly. I have Herman and Richard pursuing the target as we speak. As this is an independent Inquisitor operation, I'm granting you permission to use the E.S. Issachar. E.S.? You mean those thousand-year-old relics? Do they still work? The E.S. is equipped with the Vessel of Anima. The Vessel of Anima? The Vessel of Anima was discovered at the same time as the Zohar. Its power rivals the military might of an entire star system. Handle it with care. We can't afford for it to get damaged, particularly after the effort it took to restore it. Understood. R&D report. File number 026643. The Anti-Gnosis battle android, Cosmos, while undergoing startup and field testing on board the Federation cruiser Woglinde, awoke during a Gnosis attack on the fleet. She initiated autonomous mode, even though that mode was still sealed and has been fully operational ever since. Cosmos is acting under her own volition. However, there are many unstable elements in her emotional program, and further improvements will be required. After the escape from the Woglinde, we were rescued by the Elsa, a Kukai Foundation cargo ship. We are presently descending into 2nd Milsha in order to turn Cosmos over to Vector's 2nd R&D division. Furthermore, while en route to Milsha, we took the 100 series observational realion prototype, Momo, into custody. During this time, we were pursued by the UTIC organization and an individual called Albedo. Albedo's tenacious attack brought about the appearance of the Song of Nephilim and Proto-Merkaba. Cosmos' actions allowed us to overcome these crises. 
I believe this series of actions by Cosmos has been greatly influenced by her black box components left behind by the late Kevin Winnicott. This will likely become a major focus of our future research. Report author, Shion Izuki, Chief Engineer. Cosmos Development Project General Operations, Vector Industries, 1st R&D Division. It's so good to be alive. Yeah, no kidding. For a while there, I was kind of worried. But somehow we made it back. I'm telling you, the crazy stuff the Chief pulls always keeps me on edge. What are you saying? You make it sound like it was all my fault. Oh, uh, that's not what I meant. I, uh... Hey, Cosmos! Thank goodness you were there! Man, you really saved us. Thank you very much. I am happy to be of service. Hey, we're gonna head over to the government office now. What are you all gonna do, Xion? Hmm. Well, we need to hand over Cosmos. I think I'll wander over to Vector's second division. Is that all right with you, Cosmos? Acknowledged. That will not be a problem. I see. Well, I guess you gotta do your job. You're gonna be here for a little while, right? Hey, maybe we can have some fun later. That'd be great. I'll show you around this place, Momo. Thanks. I'm looking forward to it. All right, then. Shall we, Cosmos? Please excuse us. Goodbye. What the? Hey, Chief! Wait up! <laughs> I suppose we should get going, too. Sorry. Could you wait just a little while? I'm going to report what's happened to the subcommittee. It appears that Dr. Miss Rahi has also arrived at Milsha as well, if you have a message for her. Really? Mommy's here? Yes. Please let her know that I'm looking forward to seeing her. Got it. I'll pass it along. All right. Continue your assignment until the delivery is complete. Acknowledged. Dr. Mizrahi. Yes, Jan Sauer. Is there something else? I am currently Ziggurat 8. So it appears. Momo is looking forward to seeing you. I see. I... I too welcome your arrival. You know... It almost sounds like she's... scared to meet her. Eavesdropping is not a very admirable pastime. Say, old man, how about upgrading to a modern carbon-based body? I bet. If we applied combat realian technology, we'd see some serious results. There's no need to play around with extending my lifespan. Sure about that? I bet Momo would be happy if you live longer. I'll pass, thanks. I have no desire to prolong things. 
All right. You know who to call if you ever change your mind. What did mommy say, Ziggy? All right. She seemed very busy. Oh, I knew it. She's one of the contact subcommittee's head members. I'm sure it's a demanding role. Yeah, I guess you're right. I guess I've got to do my best to help her out. An ambush? <sighs> Junior, who are they? Albedo? No, it's not him. He's too gentle for him.
extinguisher? Yes! Huh. 